hello hello my abundance creators it's your girl empress cheryl coming to do a message um in regards to your love life so advice from spirit we're gonna get some advice from spirit in regards to your love life um there are three oracle decks that i will use um to get this message out so let's get into it let's ask my spirit guys, your spirit guys, and holy spirits who come in and protect us during this reading and hereafter and give us clear, precise, and accurate messages in regards to the collective's love life. Okay. Spirit, spirit, spirit. What do you need the collective to know in regards to your love life? What do you need the collective to know? Okay, so one card jumped out and fell on the floor. Let me get it. This card says, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there's a issue of learning from your past, um, you know, and releasing some things like so maybe you need to release the hurt um and heal from it in order for you to presently receive love what else do you have for us spirit you deserve love you are lovable you deserve love so understand that you deserve love um so love is, you know, I feel like spirit is saying like, this is love is available to you. So just understand that there may be some things that you still need to let go of. There may be some, some hurt, some past energy that you need to resolve. So, because that may be what's clouding your current view, you know, of your love life. Uh, but understand that you deserve love and that is it, it is available to you. And I'm, I'm getting the thought like love is all around you as well. But let's see. Um, is there another message? <laughs> These cards falling. Okay, let me see what this one is. One second. Okay, this one says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so pay attention to whatever steps that you are guided to take in regards to love. Um and take those steps work on it understand that you deserve that you deserve genuine love so maybe this is a situation um you know with someone that you are hesitant about like maybe you love this connection love someone there is a love connection that you need to um you know still do some healing in still you know maybe need to do some forgiving or whatever but spirit is saying that um you can make the effort. Let's see, Spirit, what else do you have in regards to love? What advice do you have in regards to love? Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. So this is this is going along with this make the effort for me. So it may be like some individuals here who are like, I don't know, maybe nervous about putting themselves out there. And I feel like spirit is saying, like, go ahead, go, go ahead and do it. Like, if it's something that you want, if it's something that you desire, then go ahead and do it. Um, we have luck is on your side, new moon and Sagittarius. So luck is on your side. Go ahead and make this um, love offer. Take this chance. Put yourself out there and see what's what you know and see what comes about like you know what i'm saying is not well with luck is on your side you maybe have a um uh, a pleasant outcome but it looks like spirit is saying like you won't essentially you won't know unless you try anyway and both of these cards here have like um an arrow like this archer this one right here as well as this uh you deserve love does so um you know, this archer, this is like uh, Sagittarius energy. 
as well. So maybe you want to make an effort with the Sagittarius. Maybe a Sagittarius deserves love. What else? What else do you have? Work through your fears. New Moon and Scorpio. Work through your fears. So you need to um shake off whatever, you know, fears that you have, whatever um insecurities that you have going on as well and like move through it, you know, in order to, in order for you to be bold and, you know, make this move. Spirit, do you have another card for us? We have new moon and Pisces, meditate and contemplate, meditate and contemplate. So this may be a situation where even if you make, I'm getting the thought that even if you make the move, even if you desire to put yourself out there, um, you may then still, you may, you may still be met with resistance. You may still come to a situation where someone is going to, you know, have to pause and take some time to really think about what it is that you're presenting to them. What it, if they desire to move forward or whatever the case may be. And that, and that's fine. Like nothing is wrong with that because it could be this other individual working through their fears. Um, but nonetheless, spirit is definitely saying, make the effort. Um, or maybe you need to, you know, meditate and contemplate on how you will be able to make the effort, how you will be able to present whatever offer it is that you're trying to present um, to someone. But it is saying luck is on your side and uh, be bold and make the first move. Okay, Spirit, do you have anything else in regards to a love situation? Love advice. Okay, Lizzo, self-love. Self-love. Self-love is the best love. So I would say, Spirit is saying, like, make sure you love on yourself. Make sure you acknowledge what it is that you truly want, what it is that you truly desire before you present your love to someone else. Or maybe this could be just a note to someone that, you know, focus on self, focus on your own love, love on yourself um, in regards to putting that energy out to someone else. Uh, but let's see what else messages in regards to love spirit i'll take all of these we have um versatility so maybe you have options in love uh we have strength maybe there are many options but it's a desire for you to stay strong and then there's resilience Let's see. I feel like with this, the overall message that Spirit is saying is like, especially starting with this self-love is understand what type of loving situation will bring you joy like start with you start with you because there may be many options with this versatility here so start with you start with what you desire start with what you feel will make yourself happy and stand on that with this strength card stand on that stand on what it is that you desire don't get uh, don't get distracted by all of the options that are in that are in front of you. Stand on, stand your ground on what it is that you truly want for yourself. What brings you, um, you know, true, genuine love, and what what fulfills you. And understand that there may be some that you may have to be um, resilient in regards to this situation. You may not necessarily get what you want. Um, right away you know what i'm saying like you may have to push through trials you may have some type of resistance to what it whatever it is that you want but it's like i'm getting the the message that you're gonna have to stand firm and what it is that you truly desire in order for it to come to you okay so that's the message here in regards to love i hope that resonates with you all have a jazzy day